Well, Positive Productivity Podcast, episode number three. Welcome to Positive Productivity Podcast, where we empower our audience to achieve and appreciate personal and professional success, especially in the face of adversity. Listen in as our guests reveal their stories of challenges and hurdles and how they overcame defeat and became triumphant in their endeavors. Let's get motivated and move forward with your host, Kim Sutton. In today's episode, I'm going to reference a Disney movie that I've watched quite a few times with my kids, Meet the Robinsons, because I love the quote in there, keep moving forward. So as we're building our business, many times there are little stumbling blocks that we run into. Sometimes they feel like speed bumps. Sometimes they are more like brick walls and we just don't know how we're going to get around them. But it's our responsibility as an entrepreneur and as a small business owner to keep a positive outlook and keep moving forward. And I want to give you one of my favorite examples and also one of the most embarrassing examples from my own business on how I kept moving forward despite a little glitch. In the fall of 2012, I rediscovered Elance. I had found it a couple years prior and I started submitting proposals to just about every virtual assistant position I could find. Within a couple days, I had a response from a gentleman in Canada who wanted to have a Skype interview with me. And I have to admit, even though it was 2012, I really wasn't familiar with Skype. I didn't realize you could do an audio only call. I thought you always had to have video. And at that time, we were living in a townhouse apartment and my office was on one wall in the living room. Now, there weren't a lot of rooms in here, so the living room was our primary living space. So Dave, my husband and I, we made sure that everything within sight of the camera was out of view and just right for when I got on my call. So the call started, and as it turned out, he wasn't expecting to have a video call, but he was happy to have a face-to-face conversation. And the gentleman that I was interviewing was one that one that seemed to like monologues. Very nice gentleman. But what I mean by that is that he liked to talk and talk and talk and talk. And he didn't really ask me for much input. He just wanted to state what his project was about. And I would have to say the whole conversation, primarily one-sided, lasted for an hour to an hour and a half. It was going well. It was about halfway through when I saw in the little window that showed me my picture, I saw my two cats, one male and one female, walk into the living room and plop down in the middle of the living room floor. Now, as I said, there was one male and one female. In my recollection, I believe one was fixed and one was not. I can't tell you which was which, but we didn't worry about having kittens. But let me just tell you that they're right above my shoulder in clear view of the Skype call. These two cats went at it right in the middle of the living room floor. And when I say went at it, I do not mean fighting. I don't know if you're listening in the car with kids, so I'm not going to give too many details. But I think you get what I'm saying. Dave was sitting right next to me out of view and I tapped his leg and he looks over and I point at the screen and we looked at each other just mortified. Like, what do we do? You know, we can't stop. I can't stop this interview and say, hold on. I need to stop my cats. I know you can see them if you look at the camera, but thank goodness you're not looking at the camera. So Dave just very gently pushed my leg down. And basically just gave me the cue with a nod of the head. Stay here. Don't bring any attention to it and keep on going. Well, it worked out. The cats did their business, left the screen. The gentleman kept on talking, asked a few questions. I gave my responses and wouldn't you know it, that was the first project I ever won a contract for, for the business. This isn't going to be a terribly long episode today, but I just wanted to share this story with you. Because it's such an important reminder that no matter how big or how small the obstacle or the humiliation or the embarrassing moment or the flop of your launch, however big or small that little downfall is, you can always keep moving forward. Don't worry about any emails that went out with typos. Don't worry if you used cut and paste to send the same message to numerous people and forgot to change the names. Yes, I've done that a few times. It's okay. We're not perfect. 
The name of the game is Positive Productivity, or at least that's my game anyway, and I invite you to join it with me. Let's play the best game that we can, keep our chins high, and keep on moving forward. If you know somebody who could use a laugh and would appreciate the story of the cats going at it during the middle of an interview, please share this podcast. I'd love your ratings and reviews. And if you want, head over to thekimsutton.com forward slash podcast and leave a comment. Your feedback and your questions are always appreciated. This podcast is as much for you as it is for me. And with that, please go out and have the most positively productive day possible. Hey, this is Kim Sutton, host of the Positive Productivity Podcast, and I just want to thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you enjoyed what you heard and you want to share with others, please feel free to do so. I'd also appreciate your comments, your reviews, your ratings, and you can do that on iTunes or Stitcher, or even by clicking through to my website at thekimsutton.com and just leave a comment down below the podcast. I also want to invite you to send me questions at any time that I can address on one of the future episodes. To send me a question to address on a future episode, just visit my website at thekimsutton.com and click on the contact tab at the top. Again, thank you so much for listening to this episode and I wish you a day filled with positive productivity.